Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. And I encourage you to watch my videos on geology and prospecting for beautiful rocks and minerals. And get out there in the field and find your own rocks and minerals. You can support my channel on Patreon. On Patreon, type in my name, Frank Riser, space, capital M period, capital S period. Your donations will go to me buying devices and making more intriguing videos on science biology, chemistry, physics, electronics, and geology. Today's experiment and demonstrations deal with vibrational acoustic energy, sound waves, and resonant frequencies of objects. So let's get to today's demonstration in acoustic waves. Here I have a metal bar and a hammer. I'm going to hit the bar in such a way where I'm holding the hammer with my fingers and listen to the sound. It's just a tink. But notice what happens when I change the position of my fingers. Hear that? I hear it vibrating. It's producing sound waves which are traveling through the air to the camera and my ears. Sound needs a medium to, tra to, tra to transport it to your ears and to the microphone which is air. It causes the air to vibrate around you. I move my fingers down even further and listen to the sound. It's different. Where I put my fingers on the bar is called a node. That's where the vibrations cease to exist. They're still. So the frequency is not produced at the nodes. Where the frequency is being produced is at the internodes, the space between the nodes, where the bar is vibrating. I'll hold it down even further. And I won't trouble you with that anymore. I have Claudney plates. Claudney plates are metal. Here's a square. Here's a circle. I'm holding the base of a Claudney plate. And I'm going to pour salt on the top. I'm pouring salt on top of the Claudney plate. You can see the salt. I'm going to hit the Claudney plate with this little hammer. And I'll show you what happens. Notice, it's vibrating, producing audio frequency, or frequency that we can hear in. Now take a look at the Claudney plate. It's produced a pattern, an X. 
Do you see the X? And I say that is remarkable. It's vibrated at its resonant frequency. And let's try it with a circular Claudney plate. A pulse portal on the circular Claudney plate. And let's see if we get another four, four pattern star. And as you can see, on the Claudney plate, the salt is evenly distributed. Now I'll hit it with a little hammer. And let's see if we can generate another four star. And it produced no pattern, probably because I don't have a wooden holder on it. Here's something similar to the Claudney plate. I have... I have four similar goblets or glasses. And you've probably done this yourself. What do you do? You take your finger, dip it in the water, and you rub the rim of the glass. Try it with this one. This is filled with a lot of water. That audio frequency generated is because the glass is resonating and the water acts as a sound damper. I'll try it with a glass that's filled with less water. It's higher in pitch. And a glass with even less water in it. It's lower in pitch. Which means what I said was wrong. This one has more water in it than the other glasses. You've seen these before if you're a musician. Tuning forks. They're pieces of metal that vibrate at specific audio frequencies or frequencies at which they vibrate and we can hear them. I'll hit it with this little hammer and listen to the frequencies produced. This one is at 256 hertz within the audio frequency or hearing range. Here's another one. This is at 341.3 hertz.
Use a smaller one. It vibrates at 426.6 Hertz. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. Always reminding you to keep looking down to find those minerals. So keep looking down.